A lot of people would say that you're one of the best leaders that Scotland has had in my lifetime anyway and, and I would say that you know it's hard to argue that so we spoke about earlier about how Michael Beale had a chance here to lead in a marker and show that he can compete against the Ange the Celtic team and it got me thinking like if you were in that dressing room before you're about to go down the tunnel what would you be saying to the team? Very good question um, I, I think that there is pressure on Michael Beale there is pressure on this, this group of players but John made a good point I, I, I think they've got to take a bit of emotion out of it and don't be too nervous leading up to the game. I mean, I, w- I would be trying. M- my job when I was in the dressing room, I had to identify who were the ones that were a bit nervous. Or I could leave the ones that had the cool heads that were a bit more relaxed. And that's that's what what I, I, I generally done, certainly in the old firm games. I mean, I had a bit of nerves myself, no doubt about it. I had to take myself out of situations and go into the toilet or into the shower room because um, it meant, I wouldn't say more to me, but I, I was a local boy and I, I grew up obviously um, a Rangers fan but the mistake I made was to see the first three or four games I played it as a fan a supporter and the game kind of passed by me and I never really played well mm. and that made me think where I had to write you know what refocus and um, redo what I, I had to do to play a play against Celtic but in terms of being a leader listen it's up to the guys in the dressing room it just wasn't me as a captain there was other guys John mentioned it like Amaris or Craig Moore a lot of guys do different jobs in the in the dressing room but Rangers need to be composed they know they're under a bit of pressure because they need to I think they need to lay a marker down in, in Celtic because it's clear that Celtic are the forum team they're nine points head, um, head in the league for a reason so I think they realise how big a a week this is and how big a game this is and, and Sunday but it's about having level heads and no going out and trying lay a marker like, you, if I was playing against somebody I would make sure I would be up against them but sometimes you would go over the top they need to keep 11 men on the pitch absolutely they I, need to keep a level that's, head that's the point for me Barry discipline mm. cool heads mm-hmm. because people play better when they're cool and they're calm and they're collected when you're flying in, you cannot win. If you go down to ten men, you let your team down. All the all the philosophy, all that formation, everything goes out the window. The man that has that manager has to change things. Um, you know, you, and you got to keep your discipline in that sort of cauldron, if you like. Um, and it's not easy. It's not easy. especially nowadays. You know, mm-hmm. twenty years ago, when me and Barry were going at it. You could get away with you know, firing into somebody, a slide tackle, maybe a little bit late, as Barry said, putting a marker down. Nowadays, you put a marker down, you're sent off. Yep. Var- These are the yep. rules now. The referees are sending you off. Years ago, you could almost say to the referee, oh, come on, ref, first yeah. one. Mm. First one, ref, come on, let me off with that. But he's got three people he, in the farm machine. Card. He's spot yeah. on, because I would be saying to my, my teammates, you need to be 100% in your mind that you're going to win the ball because anything else you know what it's like now with referees they get, for me yeah, they, they just hand yellow cards out for no reason we've got VAR as well um, so yeah I, I would be saying we need to keep a level head but also you know the importance that it is about winning the first trophy of the season and for from Rangers point of view you need to see how Celtic are going to react yep. we've only seen it once this season when they get beat with, with, Celt- uh, with sorry, St Myrna yeah. Um, and Paisley and they reacted in the right manner but this is different this is against your fiercest rivals and if you lift the trophy and you dominate the game how are Celtic going to react to falling game? You need character mm. even sometimes when you go a goal behind you know don't don't um, think it's all over you know then you need players to step up you need players to be brave take it in at Ibrox you know go and want to get the ball when the crowd is near you and you're getting called all sorts of obscenities and the Rangers players are the same when they come to Celtic Park it's a real real difficult situation when you go behind because you know the opposition crowd are up they're flying they've got momentum all of a sudden all them players want the ball you have then got to somehow dig in and get yourself back in the game and that takes character 